Hello. Thank you all so much for coming out. What we wanted to do is to open up our microphone and give anyone who wants a chance, a chance. You'll see a piece of paper and it has names and numbers. So in this little space here next to each name is room for you to make notes. You're going to vote for whoever you think should get this last spot at the TEDx Fulton Street by putting a red dot next to the name of the person. Have another drink and a little more conversation if you'd like. TEDx Fulton Street, coming at you. Everyone has a dominant actor type that affects the way that they express themselves and the way that they are perceived. Concentrate on the content. The message is the star, not the speaker. It's called Writers for Writers, and they actually buy houses and fill them with writers. These writers, they can build inspiration for others. How do you get someone to really believe in affirmation? Have them see the difference that they can make in someone else's life. If you wanted to persuade your audience, you needed three elements. Logos, ethos, pathos. By 2050, the ethnic minority population will become the majority. This does matter and it demands urgent attention. We're using these for communication, for information, and for entertainment. We are evolving where our chin is drifting into our chest. From the young lady who grew up in the Bronx, whose mother died when she was 19, who had endured sexual abuse, who grew up to become a business owner and a public speaker and a woman of her own right. My country does not see me woman as a fully realized human being and that's why I cannot be a leader. I claim that there is another explanation and that we are seeing a pattern that actually does not exist. I used to be 320 pounds. Not only did I have to change my life but I could use my position as a journalist to be able to affect change in the communities that I was serving. Who are you and what is your purpose? Why are you here? What is your piece of the puzzle? A man telling you no, pushing you out of the way, and then you having to go back to a bowl of breathing water and removing dirt out of fiber. However, I started to ask myself, how do we refine or redefine education in the 21st century? Uh, Richard Branson, Mark Cuban, Angelina Jolie, Elon Musk, Einstein, Galileo. What do they do when they are or aren't creating? Um, the world is so much smaller and so much closer than in 1972. Purpose needs to be in line with success. Life is good, you're good, and do not let your associations ever take you off of that stardom and that path to prosperity. When you think about Mother Teresa, Martin Luther King, Gandhi, all they had was one vision of how they could leave this world a better place. 